and welcome back. So as it happens, I just had to reboot my machine after installing a Camtasia update. Of course, the phone starts going off the moment I start recording, so I'm just going to ignore it. So you can ignore it too. Um, someone sending me a chat message. No, I do not have time to chat because I'm recording an example of how to do a Windows install of IBM IACS. So. When you do your download of the full install of ACS, in my case this is what it looks like, you'll notice that in here you have these install folders, Linux application, Mac application and Windows application. The Windows application is the installer for Windows, obviously if you've got Linux or Mac you'll go into one of these other folders where you get all the stuff to install it on Mac. Um, let's go have a look at the Windows application. I could of course just still run this ACS bundle and access client solutions will launch because I'm running Java but if I go into Windows application you'll see we've got two installers and an uninstalled JavaScript. The first installer is the 32-bit where you can install just for yourself or you can install for all users on your machine if you have multiple people signing on um, or the 64-bit one for yourself or for all users and of course the uninstaller gets rid of it all. It also has a nice little quick start guide which I think is just a page or two of some crappy formatted text telling you what all these things do. Um, I think I'm going to copy and paste this and put it underneath this video in the lesson just for reference as it's up to date. So let's run the install and see what happens. I'm going to run the ACS users. Now the first thing that it does when I run it, it will confirm that I'm, confirm that I'm going to be running this JavaScript. Then it has gives me a series of prompts for the different components in ACS asking me if I want to install them. Do I want to use 5250 emulation, which is the green screen? Yes, I do. Do I want to make ACS the default for any of the saved files so when I save different screen layouts and stuff? Uh, yeah, of course I do. Um, do you want to view printer outfit? This gives me the ability to look at spool files from the IBM I system as PDFs. Yes, I do. Do I want to let everyone do that? Yeah, I do. Do I want to use the integrated file system? Completely up to you. I do. I use the IFS all the time for uploading and downloading, so I say yes. Do I want to transfer data to and from the system in CSV or spreadsheet format? Yeah, I do. Do I want to use the Navigator for I? The Navigator for I launches a web browser session where you can look at different things of your IBM I web server or Apache server default. Yeah, I want to do that as well. Do I want to manage SSL certificates? Well, I do because I'm a software developer. And do I want the database tools? Yes, I do. Will I use the HMC or LAN console? Yes, I might because I may be using this um, machine. Certainly if you're using a laptop and you're responsible for IPLing the machine, you would want to say yes. And you want to issue remote commands. You can see that all of these options here, I'm saying yes to everything, finally ends up saying, do you want to put a shortcut on the desktop? And yes, I do. Now the installer's running. It takes a few seconds. And when it's finished, I believe it pops a message up saying everything is installed OK. Um, yeah, so for your average user out there, if all they want to do is green screen, you would say yes to the first one and no to everything else. It's really that simple. So I'm going to close this down. And what this should put on my desktop at some stage is a shortcut. In fact, here's ACS just launching now. I can see it running in the background. My word, JavaScript's a little bit slow. This machine's fast as well, so it might take a few seconds to do all the magic on yours. There's the icon just appeared for Access Client Solutions. And here's my completion message. IBM I Access Client Solutions installation has finished. It tells me that it couldn't find a compatible version of Java, but I know that's a big fat lie because I have different versions of Java installed on this machine. I think I got it confused. So to run it, we can just run this Access Client Solutions icon, which takes us straight into the main version of ACS. Here we are. I clicked it twice by accident. Or we can click on the ACS Session Manager, which will launch our um, session screens telling us what the screen layout layouts are for the 5250 emulation. You can see that I've got one that I created already, and if I wanted to start that, this will just launch the sign-on screen that's going to connect me to one of the machines that I want to connect with. It's really that simple, right? So again, let's try and connect. To, I'll cancel this connection. Connect to... Um, ah. I'm not even going to bother. It's a 5250 emulation screen. You know how they work. So that's it. That's the full install. Um, go in, play with it, do what you want. If you just want quick and breezy, 
take a shortcut and run your sign on screen if you want to do something a bit more installed here wrapped up in windows itself run the install yourself end of